Greetings all you maniacs of the minds when it grinds welcome back to another Warframe video. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Boar Prime. Now the Boar Prime has quickly become my new favorite shotgun. One of my new favorite shotguns. I still still love my uh, my Corinth. I also really love my Phantasma but this thing is just it doesn't care. It's just like a big fat pig. It does not give a shit. So, this is the build. Now, a lot of people are like, why are you using Chilling Reload? You know, you could use a, another former there, and then you can get even more Corrosive. That's very true. The Corrosive and Blast are competing, but the Corrosive is still higher. Chilling Reload, because the reload of this thing is 2.8 seconds without it. That's a long reload. Also, I have 100% status before multi-shot. This is very important with pellet-based shotguns because for some stupid reason, the, the status chance is divided among the pellets. So, in other words, if you don't have 100% status before multi-shot, you don't actually have 100% status. Uh, that would, if you have like 98 point something, it would be divided up by the pellets. So, if you're firing, say, 10 pellets, you have a 9% chance per pellet for a status. That's not conducive at all now you could also put seeking fury on here if you're into that i would i would have to put another form here and then a form here and then i would able be able to put on seeking fury um i might later because the punch would be very very nice so this is a standard corrosive build this is ideal against grenier this will fuck up anything like grenier that have no armor also, this will fuck up Corpus, but if you really want to give the Corpus a headache, you do this. Gas and Magnetic plus the impact this thing has. Yeah, Corpus aren't a fan of that. But first, let's show it off against Corrupted uh, Level 115 Heavy Gunners. Corrupted. Now, Mag Prime. Mag's Deluxe Skin. Oh my goodness. Can we just... Gorgeous. Yes, I have a lot of plat now because I sold a Fullman Riven for 500. Oh, I feel dirty. So, here we go. And you already see the problem. That blast, man. How can we solve this? Now, it is kind of fun to knock them down and then hammer them home with shells. But how can we solve this? Well, Harrow can actually solve, can actually help. So, let's recruit Harrow. So you can see the true power of this. I don't have Volbon, or I would use him. So let's just... Look at that. That is a lot of power. That is insane amounts of power. That is plenty of power for everything in Warframe. Absolutely everything. Now you notice that their health bar was going red. It's because I'll strip all their armor away. But as you can see, the spread on this thing is not great. <laughs> so... That's pretty neat, but let's simulate what happens if, say, the enemies don't have armor. You know you're going into a mission where there's a Saren running around, where everyone has closer projection, there's a mag just ripping armor off people, because that's what mag does. So, let's simulate that. This is what the build you would use. A lot of viral. Now, viral by itself will have the enemy's health, right? But here's the thing. With this weapon and a few others, I'm... I'm not sure if this always happens, but the health doesn't get halved. It gets more than halved, and plus this thing has slash in it. If I could go uh, just corrosive heat, then that would be absolutely perfect. It would actually outdamage the corrosive blast because heat, actually, as you see, has a good multiplier against clone flesh. So let's simulate all their armor removing with Goat Prime. Now, Goat Boy can do a very sweet magic trick. They have armor, not for long. Their health is red, all armor's gone, now they're just... 
Not so tough without your armor now, are ya? I am getting some crits, but this is not a crit weapon. Now, that armor debuff for Oberon lasts forever. So they're always going to have their armor debuffed. That's pretty neat. But what what does it look like if I have a lot of punch through? Well, you could imagine that. It would just shred absolutely everything. So if you're going to be going into a party that you know for a fact everyone is going to have course of projection or, you know, there's a Saren or Mag running around or some other way to completely remove the enemy's armor. There's actually a uh, focus school that can do that. Um, then you definitely want to do this build. Also, this build versus, uh, say, something like Disruption absolutely murders everything. The Amalgams don't like it. The, the, the Demolists don't like it. Nothing likes it. Nothing likes getting slammed with this much viral, this much radiation, and this much impact. Impact is still the highest out of all of these. You just take that and multiply that by four. I, it barely edges out the viral. So now let's do a gas magnetic build. Now gas is a bit higher, but magnetic is there too. What the hell does this look like when I blast corpus? Well, you're going you're gonna to feel a little bad for the corpus. I think... I, can you feel sympathy towards these assholes? Just note that the uh, the viral build works very well with them too, but this is much more satisfying. They're all gonna die. I was simulating shooting down a hallway, by the way. So. It's a triple whammy for them. One, Toxin does immediate damage to their health, and they are pretty weak against it. Two, Magnetic rips their shields away. It's as if they never had shields to begin with. And three, the Impact stun locks them and also rips shields away. Now what happens when I do the same build that I just did against the Naked Grenier? So, I think this build is actually a bit better than the Gas Magnetic, but... It doesn't have the AoE. Now this target's not going to bleed out. There's just not enough... Not enough slash. If this was a slasher, this would be unbelievably broken. You can see why I like this shotgun. It's so goddamn good. I am so happy that I play, paid the, some of the plat that I did to get this weapon. I paid, uh, I would say about 30, no, about 25 plat for everything. And uh, someone actually gave me plat and the blueprint. And I thank my clan very, very highly. Now, what if you have prime charge shell? I wish this was primed contagious spread. Why? Because that would wash into, say, the gas build or the viral build a lot better. Like, if I put this on here, sure, my corrosive jumps up. But if I go back to my uh, gas build, my magnetic is a lot higher. Not a huge issue, right? Because this is meant to kill corpus. But still, like, come on. And if I do the viral build, the radiation is higher. Again, not a big deal because this will do extreme amounts of damage to alloy armor. Let's show that off, actually. So let's spawn in some El Bombardos, and they have alloy armor, which is very weak to radiation. I've never actually tested this, so let's just see how this goes. I do not have the corrupted version scanned because, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that yet. Oh my god, yes. Now, I think the corrosive build works better. I'm just going to say it. But this will not knock them down. And plus, they're going to be confused the entire time. They're having their health blasted away. Their armor's doing nothing. This is very satisfying to do. You do have to be a bit close, but I mean, I use this with a Naro, so that's that's completely fine. Th 
very, very, very powerful shotgun. Very, very powerful shotgun. I can't believe it's not used more often. I rarely ever see this damn thing. So let's go back to the build I prefer. Hey, do it. Um, I mean, just... No, no, no. There we go. The blast is good against uh, certain infested units. Let me preface this. So let, let me let me look at the infestation. So, yeah, you see here, fossilized. This build against ancient healers is mega overkill because the blast is doing a lot of damage to them. The corrosive is just destroying their life. Same thing for the brood mothers and the other ancients and also the boilers. These guys, I mean, they're so weak, it doesn't even matter. Uh... So, yeah, basically, this thing is going to murk the infested real goddamn hard. So, against the against these guys, it's just going to destroy their armor, and it's going to... Well, these guys, they're, they're pretty tough, but, I mean, if you just build radiation, they're nothing. So, Blast is only really good when it comes, when it comes to damage against... Against certain infested units and also against Grenier machinery, which is unfortunate. You think Blast would do more damage? I wish Blast worked like this. I wish it still knocked down the enemy, but I wish it did a certain percentage amount of damage of the main status type. Meaning, if you have Corrosive and Blast on, on your weapon, it will do about, I'd say, like, what? Uh, what's a fair number? 35-40% of the amount of corrosive damage on there as corrosive damage. So you basically get double corrosive procs. That might sound really overpowered, but I mean, Viral plus Slash exists. So, and the Dread exists, which, and also the Vectus exists. So, um, yeah, there's that. In short, if you can get your hands on this shotgun, you have to be MR11. You do need all the dual stat mods, and Shell Shock is going to cost you a pretty penny. Trade chat 40 to 50 plat, um, unfortunately. Or you can do the mission Nialgar. Uh, you have a 5% chance on finding all secret caches, all three of them, to getting this or uh, high voltage, same thing for rifles. If you want me to do a video uh, showing how to do that farm, I will. Uh... So, you know, it, it's mild pain to do that farm, but, you know, it, I think it's kind of worth it. Anyway, the Boar Prime, I seriously don't understand why there's not a lot of more people using this. Yes, Chilling Reload will wash into that blast, and if you take it off, Corrosive is going to be by far, wait, the hell? Yeah, by far the highest in the proc order. But the reload speed of this thing really, really warrants using Chilling Reload. Now, if I put a former here, I'm pretty sure I can squeeze on Seeking Fury, which will bring this down to 2.4, which is... Eh, I might do that later, but as of now, this right here just works so damn well. It's so much fun to use. Also, there's a little thing you can use. There is an Arcane called Arcane Tempo. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah. So, on critical hit, you get a fire rate buff. Uh, chance. So, at max rank, it's 10%. So, you get a lot of fire rate. Uh, anyway. This is, this is the build if you want to just rip armor away. This is my normal goat build. Anyway, all that, is, all that said, Boar Prime. Use it. <laughs> it is unreal. An entire hallway, if you put punch through on this thing against Corpus, you have gas, it, you just shoot down the hallway. They have no shields, they're suffocating, they are fucking stunlocked, they are just dying. It's great. Against Grenier, they're on the ground, they have no armor, they're dead. It's absolutely freaking fantastic, and this thing's a whole lot of fun. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, in Trilby, we trust.